So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And here we have Juventus against Sampdoria. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, that's a, a toughie, but I'll go for big Giorgio Chiellini. He may not go about his business in the, in the most stylish fashion, but he's a, a dogged, committed competitor who won't back down without a fight. He's also a very big threat when it comes to set plays. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Looks to dink one in. Has a pop! Ball's loose, who's getting there? Juventus being served a little warning. Concentration required. Nick Steiner. Sabdoria has been mighty impressive away from home, unbeaten in five. Looks like a good ball through. Eder! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Sampdoria had players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. Well, to have had a few attempts already in this game augurs well for what's to come. It's been a very bright start from them. Quadrado, that is a terrific run. Chance! Goal! Juventus! Oh, even a section of the opposition fans were applauding that. You just have to appreciate it. Well, once upon a time I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days and we've just seen it again. Juventus take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Juventus looking to widen the gap even further here. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. It's come loose. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, he knew he needed a better angle to get a shot away, and I suppose at least he showed the best option, it just didn't come off. It's a long forward pass. Juventus are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. And Mandzukic! It's in! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Spectacular header. He really flung himself at that. You know, it takes a lot of courage to do that, to throw yourself at the ball knowing you could catch a boot in the head. Well done, son. Juventus take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. It's a clever pass. Is there any support? He might not need it. He's got away with one there. Well, I think you can only praise that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen and he got there really early, that was top stuff for me. Juventus with a quick-fire double to put them firmly in the driving seat.
Juventus are still buoyed by that big derby win last time out. Now it's Mandzukic. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Mandzukic has been caught there, it's a foul. Juventus looking to pull clear here. He'll fancy himself from here. He's trying the shot. Knocks it away. And it's Lichtsteiner. Dinks one in. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Luis Muriel needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Ada. Sabdoria can't seem to retain possession. Now it's Muriel. Ada with the ball through. Spectacular from Luis Muriel! Oh, that was a cracking little exchange to set up the finish and a lovely understanding between both players. I mean, that's clearly tailored on the training round and delivered beautifully on match day. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of... Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Quite an alarm. <laughs> Who's ball? Who's going to get that? It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. Now it's Potrado. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Oh, good steal, he just read it. Marquisio. Eter. And it's Lichtsteiner. Lichtsteiner looking up to see who wants it. Now the pass. Lichtsteiner looking to get on the end of this. Can he find a finish now? Got just about enough on that, but all at the expense of a corner. Well, he's making his point pretty forcefully. I can imagine some fairly colourful language down there. Well, to be honest, that's a rollicking that's well-deserved. The opposition were afforded way too much space then, and the keeper's letting them know, and I think he has every right to sound off there. Looks to slip it through. And Jukic. Well, that's where he wants it. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Marquisio. Passes it through. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. He's away! Now the pass. Juventus get it back again. Lichtsteiner. Marquisio. Look forward. How does he try from here? And we've reached half time. Juventus get into the half time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2 1. So 
Off we go once more. Looks to slip it through. Bonucci floats one over. Managed to get it away. Plays it out to the wing. Adair. And the flag has stayed down. It's out for a goal kick. Sampdoria has come to the defence of their manager after he came in for some stick regarding some of his decision-making. I think tactically he didn't make a good job of things for starters and then compounded matters in trying to correct it. I only hope he sticks in. Nick Steiner. Goes <laughs> long and forward. Has he found his man? And the finish! It's a loose ball. has got rid of that. Tries to dink it in. Muriel hits it! Hernanes. Eight there. Quadrado. 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 Quadrado! Oh, he's really drilled it. Juventus still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Hernandez. Eter desperately wants to get on the end of this. Quadrado. Driving on, he could shoot here. It's a carbon copy of his previous miss. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can convert a string of very decent opportunities. Hernanes. With the ball through. And he's made certain that won't get through. Bonucci gets into the right position to intercept. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Ada tries a through ball. Well played, he saw that coming. Hernanes. Marquisio driving on now. What can they conjure from here? Muriel. He's off on a marauding run. It's a brilliant interception. Mark 
Kizio. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Benucci. That's good progress he's made on the ball. That's surely a foul free kick. Well, I think it might be a touch too far to have a go at goal, but I've been proven wrong in the past, and maybe again. Ada. And he has been fouled there. Repelled by the keeper. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Comes forwards. Tries to stroke it through. Now it's Adair. Oh, clinging on for the points here, right at the end. Looks like a good ball through. Played out wide. And Jukic pushes to get on the end of it. It's Murray! He would surely have scored there more times than not. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Lewis Muriel has been full of enthusiasm and desire, and his work rate has been very strong, and he's, he's clever and been able to read the game almost a step ahead of everyone else. That's great play. Juventus just have to run down the clock. Forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. A chance! And a shot! Gets up to head it! What about it? And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line. A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Juventus could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? There is the final whistle. Juventus did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, listen, if you've got that kind of power and, and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll plough through most teams. Those central areas tend to be very...